What is up, Nat Munchers, and welcome back to some more Nexomon Extinction. Last episode, we explored the Immortal Citadel here, and as you can see, we had a smashing time. This girl didn't, though. Her window's all broken into, and it's probably pretty cold up here, to be honest. Uh, but we also learned about the curse? You heard about the curse in the Citadel, huh? What, like everyone being dead? I don't want to talk about it. Ask me something else. <laughs> okay, then. What I actually meant was this weird thing we've got in our inventory now, which I believe has to do with the Tyrant of Light, the special secret 10th type in this game. Or 9th type? I don't actually remember. I think there's 8 Nexomon types, but apparently there's also a Light type that no one has ever heard of, except we have some type of connection to the Tyrant of Light. And here to explain some more, we've got Dina. What do you do in a place like this? I could ask you the same thing. Do you know how to attach a tyrant egg? Wait, it's a tyrant egg? What? What? Wow, we made her break character. Look at those eyes though. Orange, raising a tyrant is a super serious crime. It should be obvious why. But we can use this tyrant. We can use it to defeat the other tyrants once and for all. That's exactly what renegades like Atlanta thought. They were guild tamers like you and me, who sought to bring peace using those monstrosities. Corrupted by such power, they lost their way, and now we're stuck with half a dozen psychotic tyrants. You need to find an elemental shrine, Orange. Wait, you're gonna help us? Well, that's a complete 180 from what she was just saying. I'd like to believe in you, but other guild members won't be keen of this venture, so keep your mouths shut. Okay, so I was wondering... Because that lady earlier, the one with the ice tyrant, seemed like she raised it herself. You ever been to Ignitia? If my memory serves correctly, there should be a shrine hidden over there. Ignitia is an underground volcanic city. The entrance is in the middle of the desert. It's a long way from here. If you keep heading east, you'll probably be fine. Awesome! If we find that shrine, can we hatch this egg? It's a little more complicated. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful. If you hatch a tyrant, you'll make enemies. Please think about it carefully. We already got like the Team Break masked dude coming after us, so I think we'll be okay. So I guess Ignitia is our next objective. And she did say to the east, right? Usually east means to the right. Nicely done. The city owes you for fighting those hostile Nexamon. Hey, it's all in a day's work, right? For the guild tamers or whatever but i was wondering because she said it's very dangerous to raise a tyrant egg i guess maybe other tamers have attempted to do it too and those are the tyrants that are currently running amok uh they were actually well tamers tried to tame him but i guess they failed let's go ahead and hit up the nexomon storage though because i've been thinking of making some changes to the team i mean we don't really have that many in the storage right now. Uh, we do have Repub who we caught last episode. Maybe I'll start training him up a little bit. But I really want to catch myself a ghost type Nexomon. Which is perfect since we're actually in the ghostly city. And there's probably mainly ghosts around here. As I say that, of course, we run into a freaking grass one instead. There was one specific Nexomon that we battled last time. It was like a little Grim Reaper. Oh my god, that's literally him! What a coinky dink. Well, let's definitely try to catch one here. Although I think the Cybomb is going to make the game completely lag out for a second. But it is super effective like I thought. So we should definitely go for something a little bit weaker next. And Repub is dead. Nice. I do believe Normal is weak to Ghost and Psychic. So maybe Dinja is not the best to send in here either. I really just want to weaken this guy a little bit more before we try going for that. Nexo trap because this is definitely one I would like to add on to the team. There we go, 2 HP, dude. Could not get any closer. And we actually have some ghost Nexo traps, which would be a 54% chance of catching it. Oh, we could just go for the golden, but that wouldn't really be worth it, would it? So let's just go for the ghost trap here and hopefully get ourselves the Reefa. Oh my goodness. I mean, we'll just call it Reefa, not to be confused with, you know, the the Reefer. 
Although I'm sure he could cut you a deal on that too if you really wanted it. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So went ahead and added him to the team. We're healed up and we're gonna keep on heading to the east, I guess. Or not because we got Foxtra standing in our way. That could actually be some nice experience. And I do believe, oh no, I kind of forgot if electric is good against ghosts. I know that fire and water are. Uh, which means that maybe Porklet could actually come in and finish this thing off. Just so that Scaretic doesn't die and, you know, get some experience too. Uh, burn him with the fireball, Porklet. Oh, you're slower, but it's fine. We already got to go heal up again, dude. Why? You know what? This might be a good time to just train up instead of moving on just yet. Because there's a lot of these grass ones nearby and Porklet, he's not really quite ready to join the party yet. But I do believe we can get his evolution soon enough. Oh, look at that. Gonna take him out with the burn. And that reminds me, actually. I think you guys told me that you can check uh, when a Nexomon evolves here in the database. So we're gonna go by the fire ones and evolves at level 13. Wow, so we literally got pretty much one more battle and Porklet would have evolved. Okay, not like this, though. I mean, that did a lot of damage. So if we can just live this one. Oh, Porklet! You beast! Is that it? Is that enough? Yes, it is level 13. We didn't even need to check that, dude. We should have just left it up to the surprise. But finally, our little piggy is going to evolve. And I can't wait to see what he becomes. Oh my god. The Hoglet. I mean, he's basically like uh, Tepig. And then he becomes... What's the middle one? Pig Knight. I wonder if his final evolution will be anything like Embor, though. Guess we'll have to wait and find out. But for now, we're gonna head on over to the east as our little llama is lagging behind. I found out that if you run, like, cause they added the feature where now if you hold down B, you can run, of course. Uh, the companion really lags behind. It's kind of like the Isle of Armor in Sword and Shield, you know? They added Pokemon following behind you, but they don't really do it all that well. So, I mean, that's kind of annoying, but it's not that big a deal. Anyway, we got some new trainers or tamers over here. Or rather, some tamers with some new mons we haven't seen yet. But this definitely looks like the evolution of that voodoo one we fought earlier. Don't know about this one, though. Its name seems to be invoking thunder or some type of tundra, maybe? But like I said, oh wait, this is psychic. Uh, Ghost is definitely weak to fire. I don't think psychic is. But let's test out our newly acquired hoglet here regardless. Oh my god, he made him switch right out, man. Couldn't handle the heat, could ya? And neither can Yom Nom. Nexomon in the wild scale to your level, so sometimes training up weaker ones can be a little bit difficult, just because if you have some really strong ones on your team and you're trying to train up a lower level one, then obviously, you know, the wild Nexomon will scale to the highest level in your party. So training up the weaker ones will be a little tougher, but thankfully they did add those EXP cores or basically like the EXP share, you know? The ones that we've got on Hoglet right now, which I should definitely switch on over to someone else. But hey, Holy Curse is at the perfect health to be caught here, so we might as well go for that ghostly Nexo Trap. Still don't know why we gotta do this little quick time thing, but I hope it works. Oh, come on, bro. Like after all that, after I push my buttons perfectly and you still don't get caught, what is going on here? Maybe I should just give it a donut instead. I don't want to waste any more of my Ghost Nexo Traps, especially not on Folly Curse here, since it's not exactly my favorite. But dang, she just healing up right now. Okay. I mean, this is going to be a 44% chance with this one. Come on. We had better luck or better chances with the Ghost Nexo Trap. Watch it actually catch now here. Of course, dude. <laughs> That's just my luck right there. But at least we catch it in the end. Gotta catch them all, right? Oh, wait, no, wrong, wrong game. All right, we're back, healed up, and ready to head onward past this route. I guess we got options, though. We can either go up or down. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the north first, because I think uh, Dina was her name, said we gotta go to the east. So, I mean, we're going neither way right now, but this guy wants a Goozy and Mimi. I don't think we've seen either of those in the wild yet, so can't quite fulfill that request, but most likely they're found nearby, just like that haunted tree from before, you know? The Nexomon that he wanted were found like really close by, like literally 
one area away. Oh, hey, this was actually one of them. Or rather, it's pre-evolution. The Dreaver. I guess now we've got the Dreadmore. I don't know if uh, Hoglet here can handle it right now. Oh, we're going to barely live that. Come on, be faster. Oh, one HP. Please. That sucks, dude. Like, I've been having to go back after literally every battle just to make sure Hoglet is topped off on health. So it'd be very nice if we found some of those healing shards nearby just so we wouldn't have to go back literally after every battle. But at least the next opponent here is going to be something weak to electric. So Skeretic can get some experience. I didn't check when this one evolves. I believe it's level 18. We could have actually checked earlier when I went into the database, but it's fine. I kind of like the surprise, you know? Like literally, Porklet was one level away. If we would have just waited, I would have been like... Gop champ. I guess we didn't have enough stamina to actually finish that one off. Maybe we can do it with the pulse storm. Nice. All right. Would have been really sad if Skeretic ended up not getting any experience for that. I also actually put the uh, EXP share on Repub since I think he's really close to evolving too. Suppose my next amount won't be very strong if I spend all day mining, but still it was lots of fun. Hey, you don't got any shards for me, bro? How are you going to talk up your mining skills and not give us any free shards? Oh my goodness. Where are we at now? I can see you've got a nice pickaxe. You here to mine lots of shards? Watch your step. Lots of dangerous Nexamon in here. Don't worry. Our little llama will protect us, I'm sure. But speaking of exploring, I did mention that in this episode, I wanted to do a little bit more exploring. Maybe head off to the Drake Isles because... I really want to get some Dragon Nexomon on our team, and hey, this is actually one of the ones that that dude wanted us to get for his quest. So we might as well try to catch it here. We got it at the perfect health again, but then again, when I said that last, the Ghost Nexo Trap didn't end up working out. So let's see if we get better luck this time. Uh, come on, dude, why? These Ghost Nexo Traps just ain't it, huh? Okay, maybe second time's the charm. It's a 50-50 chance, basically. I know it's a 52%. It's a little bit more than 50-50, but if anything, that just means it should catch even more so. But there we go. Second time's the charm. 50-50 would have been pretty sad if we got tails twice in a row. This creepy Nexomon is less dangerous than it appears. Don't let it fool you, though. It tends to lose people in the wild by either scaring them or misguiding them. He looks pretty cute to me. I mean, I can see how he's creepy, but it's got like that Tim Burton, like where it treads the line between cute and creepy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like the Nightmare Before Christmas. And I mean, that's pretty much the mo the main thing he's known for. But he's done a couple of other movies and he has a very distinct art style that I feel like that Nexomon kind of fits with. Uh, don't really care for this one. I think we've seen it earlier and eh. I mean, we're out of ghost Nexo traps now, so... It's not like it'll be easy to catch or anything, unless it likes donuts. But yeah, I was just saying how I wanted to do an episode focused on exploring, uh, but since the last one was so story heavy, and as soon as we came out of the Citadel, we still had more story, I guess we're keeping on with that. And I'm actually gonna save the exploration for the next stream, which should actually be tomorrow night. If you're watching this on the day it comes out, uh, it'll be on Thursday night to clarify. So. Whenever Thursday, whatever date, I, I have no idea what day it is right now, but Thursday, basically, after this video comes out, uh, will be the next stream. And I usually go live around 8 p.m. my time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern. I actually really want to catch this one right here. I've seen its evolution and it looks sick, but I'm really scared that Croncho is going to kill it on accident. So I think maybe switching to our Repub would be better. And... Yeah, obviously not very effective with the uh, Psychic on Psychic here, but I'm going to go for the Scratch instead because that's not very effective either. But of course we got put to sleep. Why? <laughs> well, if you want to make sure you don't fall asleep tonight, come through the stream, guys. It's in, in the description, twitch.tv slash notmunchingorange. Please wake up. Wait, we're asleep for four more turns? What? I just noticed that. Dude, all of our attacks are too strong. <laughs> I never thought we'd get to this point where my attacks are actually too good. But it's like wiped out right now in terms of stamina. I don't think that actually affects whether we catch it or not. It seems to like flan though. So I'm going to go ahead and feed it that. And hopefully we have like a psychic nexo trap. 
or something. Oh, we do literally have one. Okay, 67%, bro. I swear. Please. Just just push them buttons. Don't push my buttons though. Hey, we got the Magna Pub. I thought it was called Magna Pug. Cause it kind of looks like a dog to me, but actually no, it's, it's not a dog at all. It's more like a weird frog creature. It is said that it can see into the future, but no one has ever confirmed this. It can the ring in its forehead to create. Okay, that's another typo right there. Come on, Nexomon, I told you. I got you on all these typos. As you can see, I read everything. It can, the ring, like the movie, the ring, what are you saying? At least we got a little healing crystal here. So we can actually keep exploring this cave with a little bit more peace of mind. I'm not as stressed that we're just gonna die randomly, especially after catching that guy. Like, yeah, we got weakened quite a lot. Uh, but we're getting a lot of shards in here, man. So we can definitely go back to the city or whenever we do go back. Uh, there's a lot of side quests there that involve giving people shards that we can complete. But we might as well take this Dreaver out just for some extra EXP. Since the one that we caught, we actually gave over to that tree. Bro, did that all just rhyme? Oh my goodness. I didn't want to point it out because I thought maybe I could keep the rhyming going. But as soon as I pointed it out, of course, <laughs> the rhyming was done with. Wait, is this one of the vaults? Oh my god. Spencer's Fortune, vault number two. It requires a special key. Would you like to use a vault key? Yes! Oh my... We can actually use any of the vault keys we have? Hell yeah! First vault down, boys! Boom! That is the first one we've ever found. I didn't realize that you could use any of the vault keys that we found to open them. Like, I thought specific keys were for specific vaults, but nah. We're gonna get a whole bunch of coins and actually even more hidden items over here. Two fire nexo traps, 200 more coins, and finally, the two big chests are gonna have a Malatrus Companion and a Tribute of Decay. I don't know what the heck that second thing is, but obviously the companions we've learned now, we can actually change. That is <laughs> pretty dang creepy, man. Scientists at Param are in dire need of shards. Oh yeah, that's literally what I was just talking about. Oh boy. Well, Hoglet's still alive, and actually this is one that I've been meaning to catch as well. I think we fought it a couple episodes ago, and I thought it's like weird squiggly arms were kind of cool. So, hey, no way, the burn! Oh, come on! That would have been the perfect help there to try to catch it. But of course, Hoglet's just too good. Gonna finish it off with the burn there. I mean, I'll take the experience regardless. But I think I saw one more area that, oh my gosh. I want to weaken it a little bit more though. I feel like that's not quite low enough to guarantee the catch. There we go, Repub. That's what I wanted you to do earlier against that other dude, but obviously that didn't work out. Uh, we don't actually have any more super effective Nexo traps, though. So I really hope we've got whatever food it likes. Oh, it's actually donuts. What is up with these ghosts and donuts, man? Is it because they wish they were still alive so they could eat real donuts? I don't know. A heart for a Tin Man? What did the, the Scarecrow want? Wait, I thought the Scarecrow wanted the heart. Didn't he want a brain? Because he was like dumb or something? Maybe we can find a brain for this Tin Man. No, it's sca Scarecrow. I'm trying to make the Persona reference here, dude. It's not working out. <laughs> Let's just move on past this guy and actually up this way where I saw there was like an optional area. And although Pont here looks kind of cool, reminds me of like a rock type version of Bergmite. Don't think I'm going to catch that one, but what the heck? Wait, what is the point of this area? There's literally nothing here. I guess maybe it was like a dead end for earlier to just like trick you into thinking that was the right way when it really wasn't. But yeah, all of that was pretty much optional. I guess I said earlier that I didn't really or we're not going to explore like I thought we would, but we are doing quite a bit of exploring so far. Uh, still haven't seen Mimi though. We got the Gauzy for that guy or Gauz, Goes. I don't know. These names ain't too easy to pronounce, but we actually can go to the east. I didn't realize there was a path over there to the right, but let's go down instead. And is that who I think it is? Because if it is, I'm about to get my revenge on this dude. Freaking Alfred. Orange, orange, look what I found. My very own Nexamon. Come on now, show me how to fight. This would be so much fun. 
Oh, this is so nice. No, it is not. This dude straight up stole our Nexo traps and got away with it, but not anymore. Because we get to have our revenge here. Uh, sort of. Because, yeah, our team is not looking too good right now, but... The stronger ones are still pretty much full HP, so we're okay. Let's try out Rifa here, who I believe is super effective against normal types. Like, ha hoppy here? <laughs> okay, this one's extremely cute. Like, that might just take the cake for the cutest one we've seen so far. I'm not sure that we'd actually fought a ha hoppy before, though, but... That is Alfred's only Nexomon so far, okay? Yeah, Impossible! How can this be? This sucks! Nexomon suck! I hate this stuff! Take this reward for all your trouble! Alright! We actually get what he promised us in the end. I really thought he just took our Nexo traps and went running. I'm going back to the mana now. Ugh, Nexomon. At least he got a cute little bunny pal now, you know? It's... You don't have to fight with them. Maybe we shouldn't have gone all out. I didn't. I literally used Rifa. Like, he's not even that strong, bro. Whatever, though. What does this girl over here want? I'm trying to build a team of just Ghost Nexomon. The simplest way is to get loads of traps. If you have any to spare, what do you say? Well, we did have some earlier, but then we used them all up, catching our own Ghost Nexomon. If you just met us earlier, little girl, you definitely or we would have had exactly what you needed, but not anymore. Um, gonna guess this is the way down to the desert or wherever we're supposed to go. A keep creepy chalking tree gave me some pretty good items. They're handy, but I fear that they may be cursed. You know what? I'm getting rid of them. I'm not asking for much, I promise. 250 coins and some shards. Yeah, that sounds perfectly good. We got secret sauce and three perfect berries, which... I think are kind of like golden Nexo traps, but, you know, an item equivalent. So if you feed that to a Nexomon, then it'll basically make it almost guaranteed to catch. So we can definitely make use of those. Uh, we did heal up, I believe, so this girl should be no trouble taking on here. I made a deal with the Talking Tree. I must keep as many Tamers trapped in here. Seems like everyone's met the Talking Tree, man. He didn't seem all that bad to me, though. Like, it's literally the definition of don't judge a book by its cover. The guy or the, the tree himself told us, like, sure, people always think he's all menacing and creepy, but in reality, he just wants to be a Nexomon tamer like the rest of them. So I don't really know whether his items are evil or not, but we definitely haven't seen anything yet. Like, they haven't done anything to us, I mean. This little Minette is definitely doing some work, though. That hurt. Oh my god. And he's faster too? Oh, we barely didn't finish him off. Okay, Pulse Storm is faster though, right? Yes. I really still like that. Like the fact that moves can be faster than the enemy. Like it adds a little bit more variety to the move types and all that. Or other than just types, like the speeds, you know. It's another layer of complexity, I guess, to Nexomon battles. Rifa is not long for this world, though. I'm sorry, dude. You're already dead. I guess you're dead again. You're double dead. But it's fine. Camelivo can come in and get that revenge for you. Or maybe this brainy puss freaking hurts, man. There we go. Wow. 22 damage with the Pulse Storm? That was pretty insane. As Hoglet will level up and Repub is very, very close. The Talking Tree won't fulfill my wishes if I don't uphold my part of the deal. You're fine. The Talking Tree can't chase after you. Like, he literally, he's stuck in place. Just think about that for a sec. What's he gonna do? Throw some leaves at you? Oh, I thought this was a complete dead end, but there's actually a path down here through the tree. And we're back out to the Outlands. Oh my goodness, what is that? Look over there. That must be the path to the desert. The entrance to Ignisha has to be somewhere nearby. If we can find an elemental shrine there, we might be able to hatch our own tyrant egg. Did you know that the guild has a big outpost in the desert? We should check it out sometime. Did not know that. I'm more curious about what the heck that mermaid statue is all about, though. I work at the guild's research district. A latest invention, the core, requires lots of shards. Unfortunately, the best shards come from Lateria, and those fellas aren't very friendly. Lateria? I don't know why that reminds me of, like, lactose intolerance. <laughs> or just lactate, la lactose in general. Lactate? No, that sounds gross. I'm pretty sure that's when you 
never mind. Uh, we got a revive here, and I think we can actually... Well, I guess we are going to run into another Rubby, which is definitely higher level than the one we had earlier in our adventure. And it's also not going to let us run away. Come on, little Rubby. We ain't here for no Disney Mickey Mouse crap. I want to go talk to this girl over here. Oh, we can't. What the? I thought that maybe we could just step onto this platform. I guess not. Uh, can we do anything with this? Oh, there's like a, there's a blue thing missing there. You see how there's like four of them? in each corner and then there's one missing here. I thought maybe we could put something in there, but maybe not. This ain't the Legend of Zelda after all. So how the heck do we get to that girl then? Maybe we need a flying Nexomon or I mean, I'm, I'm sure that there's some way later on in the game that we can fly because we've seen a lot of instances where like a chest is just barely out of reach or there's like a gap that we have to cross. Oh my gosh, we have just crossed into the desert. This guy, is, are his eyes closed? <laughs> Didn't see you there, man. A troubled mind stands here. What's wrong, kid? Yes, indeed, we live in a dying world. But you have the tools to change that, don't you know? Nexomon, they can do marvelous things, can't they? Come, let me show you the miracle of Nexomon. This dude's got a snake on his head. Oh my god, what is that thing? I guess he's living up to like the snake charmer whole persona thing and he's got a very snaky looking Nexomon too in Wadtail here and that is actually a psychic type not a ghost bro I keep going for fire moves on the psychics I know that fire is good against ghosts but I don't think it's super effective against psychic but lightning definitely is so oh come on wait it's paralyzed though does that mean? Ooh, full paralysis. Let's go. Scare tick. Nice. And there's the Mimi, the one we've been looking for. Little Mime Jr. here. I still wish, like, the one thing that I hope that they add to the game eventually is, like, locations. I know that's kind of hard because there's not really, like, a map in this game. But I hope they find some way to, like, show you the locations of Nexomon in the future because... The resources for it online are not super reliable. Like there is this Google Doc I found for like where to locate. Oh my gosh, the heal coming out. Oh, Rifa's still alive though. We're gonna get him out of here though. I actually want him to get experience for once. <laughs> He's been dying every battle. I don't know why I sent in Croncho though. That was not my best idea. Oh my, okay. Uh, but yeah, there's like, a Google Doc where you can pretty much see listed where to find every Nexomon, but it's not like very easy to navigate or it's not very user friendly, I should say. Like you gotta like control F and even then it doesn't like there's no pictures or like exact location. It's just like, oh, it's this patch of grass in this area and you kind of just got to know where that is in the game. It's not that difficult, but it's not easy either is my point. So. The Nexo Dex or the database would be nice if it did show us that as Skeretic is actually going to be learning Drain. If we end up regretting this, it's fine. There's that one girl or oh my god, Repub, Repub, what are you doing, buddy? You gonna, you gonna become a little big puppy there? <laughs> I just realized how I said little big puppy. This makes no sense, but we got Kanunui, Kanunui. Yeah, what a beautiful thing. I've never seen Nexomon so perfectly synchronized with their tamer. You are destined for greatness, Orange. You'll see if you keep moving forward. So what's up with that head or snake on your head, dude? Is that a Nexomon too, or is that like just an actual snake? <laughs> As if this debate wasn't already like a crazy theory or whatever in Pokemon where real animals are a thing but we don't know if they're like different than Pokemon or what. Now we got that in Nexomon too. And this guy is dead. Ugh! This is the worst! Hey, are you alright? <laughs> I mean he's on the floor passed out. A tyrant poisoned him? What? Is there something we can do? I can't move at all! You'll have to bring me a bunch of anti-poisons. Five anti-poisons should do the trick. Aren't those only for Nexomon? I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, do we actually have any of those? I don't think so. Maybe we've got like one or two. 
Oh, wait, what? We can buy them from the store nearby. Bruh. Yeah, I guess we don't have enough. I think we might have like one of them, but definitely not five. And we can actually walk past that girl and maybe this guy too, because I kind of need a little bit of healing. Oh, perfect. There's a shard right there. Except there's like three tamers. Maybe we can try to fight this girl before we heal up. I guess Camelevo is still okay on HP. Hoglet's not doing too hot. Then again, we have potions too. I really hope you've got ghost or psychic types. Because, I mean, our team is not looking too good right now. Hey, it's a porklet actually. Oh my god. Father versus son. Invincible. Grants invincible status, making this next one unaffected by both damage and status skills during that turn. That's pretty good. Not really great against porklet though, I guess. If it ends up burning us or something, that'd be nice. Or if we end up burning him. Oh, come on. Of course. We both get the burn. Oh my god. Are we actually going to lose to the baby version of ourselves? No, dude, there's no way. Okay, he actually switches out. Just saying, man, I'm not the one who wussied out here. We got Streamog now, though, which I don't think we've battled before. But that actually looks really cool, too. There's just way too many Nexomon that I, like, kind of want to use in the playthrough. But at the same time, like, like I just said, there's way too many of them. So it's hard to decide which ones we actually keep around. Like, look at this dude, Rebombo. I don't even care about what he evolves into, dude. Like, I'd be down to just use Rebombo, just as it is right now. So derpy. Uh, let's try out our Kananui, though, which we just got as well. And, okay, for a second I was scared because I thought fire was going to be super effective against us, but I keep getting that confused. It's actually ghost, not fire. We're okay. I mean, fire's good on ghost. Bruh. We got Kananui, level 15. I don't know if I'm going to keep that one, like, for the long run. Because we did catch that other Psychic type earlier. But we haven't really been to a storage since we left the Citadel. So, yeah, we can't really replace that right now. Um, but we might as well go back and take on those other two Tamers now that we healed up. There's a lot of scam artists around here. Oh, dude, no way. She just warned us. That guy or this dude right here, he's probably one of them, isn't he? So maybe we shouldn't give him those anti-poisons after all. I feel kind of bad, like, just leaving the dude dead on the floor. But he's not really dead yet, right? Like, maybe someone else will come along and help him instead. Oh my god, what was that damage, dude? Skeretic, man! Why? <laughs> Skeretic needs to evolve, dude. Like, he's definitely not keeping up with these enemies right now. Oh my... Okay, that's a uh, very creepy looking spider there. Uh, also, not very good against electric, I guess. Or, I mean, we're not very good against it. I feel like I always say my type matchups backwards, dude. But hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to say. Because, <laughs> like, it said at that time. It said not very effective. It would be nice if the game also said when something is super effective, though. I feel like that would be another good change to see. But I guess maybe they're doing, or they haven't done that because then it would literally just be like Pokemon. But I mean, just for clarity, maybe not super effective, but maybe if they put like more effective or something like that. Uh, we got Blub Blub out here. Haven't seen this guy in a while. If Skeretic was still alive, you know, I'd love to get some experience for him, but not today. Hey, Camelieva with the dodges though. And I think, yeah, this is... This person's last Nexomon. Oh, come on. We really got frozen? All we had to do was just finish off Blub Blub here. This would have been perfect. No, we're still frozen. Oh, come on, man. All right. Well, I guess Rifa still hasn't won a single battle in the whole episode. So maybe this is the one, finally. With three HP. Finally, it's going to get a dub. And barely any XP. But that's fine. Not bad. Sorry for the ambush, but that's just how tyrants work. They don't play fair. You never know when those beasts will attack another city. It's tough, so stay strong. I think we should actually go back and heal up uh, before we take on any more dudes in this desert. Plus, I think there's some stuff we missed back in, you know, the spooky forest area. So, yeah, let's head back over there. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. As I'm making my way there, we got a wild Mara, which I believe is actually one of the starter Nexomon. And one we've definitely not run into yet. But I'm kind of scared of killing it here. So maybe Croncho can hit it with something not very effective. I still feel like we might kill it on accident. Come on, Hydrosphere, please. Oh, come, dude. It was not very effective and it still did too much. This girl really already wants the rematch? Okay, well, I'm not ready for that, but I do want to check out, I think it was down here. Oh wait, no, this is where we fought Alfred. So maybe to the right. I'm pretty sure there was some way that we haven't been to yet. Oh my. Yeah, we definitely haven't been here. What is going on? Quite the view. That horror was Chroma, the abyssal tyrant. It was a Grand Master Dina who took this one down before he could reach the immortal citadel and devour it. What's the point of defending that city? Their people are... Well, you know. Beats me. Dina always seemed oddly attached to that place. So the tyrants can get that massive, dude? Like, that is... I mean, Nivalis is nothing compared to that thing. If we don't become stronger, a tyrant just like this one will wipe us all out in an instant. We can't rely on heroes like Dina and Xanders. Come on, let's train together. What is up with these names, though? Dina? Xander? Like, they sound, like, so basic for, like, those being, like, the top tamers in the world. I don't know, man. Just like the Nexomon names, I'm... Still maybe not completely sold on some of them, but... I mean, if they strong, they strong, man. You don't get to choose your name after all. Anyway, we got another Mimey out here. I really wonder now if that's Mimi or Mimey. Oh, we're provoked too. But you shouldn't have done that, man. You get Scaretic angry, he strikes back. And actually, I think I put all of the EXP boosts on him right now. So I really want him to evolve. I think we've got one more level to go. Except we have Aphorade, which it's not the best matchup for him, but it's great for Hoglet. Oh, damn. Look at all that experience Scaretic just got. Almost there to the level 18. You're miles ahead of me. Wait, when did we tell this man our name? Maybe he just knows everyone's name. Hmm. It is seldom the case when the guild shows signs of competence. To think that they defeated Chroma, it is truly baffling. Who is this man? I don't think he's from the Immortal Citadel, that's for sure. Might be one of the Lateria folks, since they said they're not very fond of the Tamers. Uh, but that thing's eye is still glowing, man. I don't know, I feel like there might still be some energy left in it. Like, I get that it's like skull and bones, but they said it was the Abyssal Titan, or Tyrant, as we get another companion for a Nexomon that we have never seen before. What's this one all about? I mean, I don't even know what that could evolve from, but there's another dead end here, actually, so... Good thing we explored, but didn't really end up leading to much. So I guess we'll head back now. Uh, I believe there was still one more path, though, that we didn't fully explore. Maybe up here? Oh, wait, no, this just led us back to that mine, right? Unless there was something to the right. No, I don't think so. Oh, there's the Mimey, though! Which is actually the other Nexomon that guy wanted for the side quest. So we can definitely wrap that one up now. That is, if we can catch it. Uh, don't fail me now, Croncho. Oh, that's a big crunch right there. We do have Pummel, though, which I think is not very effective against Psychic. Hopefully. Oh, why? Why do you get a critical hit now, bro? Come on. Okay, well, at least now we know the Mimes are around here. So let's just keep looking. Maybe. Oh, perfect timing, dude. I'm just going to double pummel this time. Just double not very effective because, yeah, we've just been knocking them out left and right today. Another crit. My dude, Croncho, you need to relax, man. We don't have any more of those Psychic Nexo traps, though, but we do have a lot of cake, which apparently Mimey likes. I mean, who doesn't like cake, to be fair? I uh, guess we'll just go for a regular old trap. 58%, that's not bad, actually. I thought it'd be way lower, but that's okay. Or is it? Oh, it is. 
We got the Mimey. But of course, we're going to have to go grab it from... Or, well, actually, we could just send it to our party right now. But we still got to go grab the other one from the box. One more thing back near this man who had us clear his browsing history. There's actually an anti-confusion that I noticed while editing. I didn't pick up like three times we walked past it and I didn't pick it up, unfortunately. But there's also this house here, which we didn't quite explore. So we're just going to steal some groceries from this person's fridge. I mean, they're dead anyway. They can't eat, right? We'll be fine. We also get a greed wallet, though. Don't actually know what that does. Maybe we can phone a friend to let us know, because, yeah, I, I'm not really clear on that one. Uh, but maybe we can actually check in the inventory, because I know that we got that, like, what's it called? EXP booster from Alfred. And I don't know where those are either. Key items, maybe? We got the Tyrant Relic all glowy now. And two EXP boosters. The more you own, the more XP you get. We got 3% right now. And then this will cause battles to yield more coins. Oh, I thought it was something like Zelda where there's like bag upgrades, you know, so you can carry more gold. But I guess it gives you more coins for winning battles, similar to how the whistles make uh, certain types of Nexomon easier to catch. And then the secret sauce makes any meat or meal you feed a wild Nexomon be 3% more effective. So yeah, we want to stack up all those items. The Tribute of Decay... I'm guessing is more like a traditional, you know, key item. Like, we're going to use it for a quest eventually. Now, let's give this man what he wanted. We got the Mimey. We got the Goose. It's time to trade. And actually, that's going to get us another EXP booster plus a whistle. So, we're stacking those up. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting this guy to evolve so quickly. But after taking down that Foxtra... I guess we're going to have Rifa turning into the Grim Adventures of Grimmon. This guy does look like a Digimon. Wait a minute. What? This village was here all along? I don't remember running into this place earlier. We got another outpost, so we didn't even need to go all the way back to the Citadel to heal up. Okay, well, would have been nice if someone told me about this. I know someone probably did and I just wasn't paying attention, but yeah, we got another trade outpost out here. And even though I wanted to wrap up this episode by heading into the desert, I guess this might be a good spot to call it as well. Okay, you know what? Let me just go to the desert, dude. Oh my god, what is a Rappy? Mega Rare? Wait, is this like higher than Ultra Rare? I don't actually know how the whole... Rarity hierarchy works in Nexomon, but I certainly hope that a Pulse Storm doesn't kill it. Oh god, I swear. Oh, come! Another crit, dude! Why? Why is it always these crits? And this dude, wait, actually, I take it all back. Who cares that we killed it? Because off of this, we're gonna get Skeretic finally evolving into definitely not Vikavolt. I mean, that's that's a whole different Nexomon right there. Or Pokemon? Nexomon? This is definitely where the line starts blurring. But yeah, we're going to head on to the desert and run into another one immediately after. So hey, I guess we get another shot at it. Even with the perfect berry, it's still a 48% chance of catching this thing. Okay, well, we have a lot of them, so we might as well use one. I actually just ate a fruit that looked just like that. I don't know what it's called, but it's like the Palpu fruit from Kingdom Hearts. You know, it's like the little star-shaped fruit. Actually, it might just be called a star fruit. I don't know, though. Uh, hopefully, the Nexo Trap works. Hey, there we go. We're going to get the Rappy, which I still don't know if Mega Rare is more than Ultra Rare. Sounds like Ultra would be, you know, higher up or like rarer. I wasn't paying attention, though, whenever we found the Mara. But that was also in this route, so who knows? Maybe we could find a... Nope, that's... Actually, that's pretty cool, too. And it's not even going to let us run away, so maybe it's a sign that we should actually try to catch it. We got Echo, the little bat out here. It is an uncommon... Oh, well, there's another critical hit. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, let's move on to the desert then, at last. Already, this man wants the rematch, too. I feel like the trainers want the rematch, like, really quickly. 
Like, it's only been a, like 10, 15 minutes maybe since we last fought that man. But I'm not ready for that rematch. I am ready for Boldeon, however. Is it ready for us though? Because everything so far we've accidentally killed. At least this is not very effective. So finally, maybe we get a chance to catch something here. We still don't have any of the Nexo traps that are good at, for it. Like uh, mineral type, I guess. We also don't have any food that it likes. So whatever, we're going for these full odds, 39%. Honestly, that's not even that bad. Come on, cross those fingers, and we got it! First try. Boldeon. That sounds like, uh, I don't know, it reminds me of something. I'm not quite sure why or what it is. But there's like a certain series where everything ends in Eon. Oh yeah, the Evolutions, duh. <laughs> That could be like the rock type evolution right there. Boldeon. Watch them actually make that in Gen 9. If it does, come back to this video and tell me I didn't predict it, bro. Or I guess Nexomon predicted it. But uh, all those shards also respawn, which is nice. And I believe, yeah, we're heading on deeper into the desert. Looks like Ignisha is up ahead. Or is it? Yo, isn't that the professor, though? And another fallen tyrant. I like the music, though. This is nice. Got a bit of a DBZ vibe. Whoa, look at that thing. They call it Grunda's Chasm. Ew. Legend says that a whole city used to stand here, but it collapsed after a huge monster crawled out from underneath. And let me guess, that monster is the skull we're looking at right now. Actually, there's two different skulls. There's like one up here and then like a bird looking one down there. As well as like some mining or I don't know, but that's how the story goes at least. Hey, Emily. Whoa, we just walked right through a Nexomon. It's Emily. At the bottom of this chasm, we built the city of New Ignitia. Why would you bother doing that? If Grunda truly was as fearsome as the legend goes, we figured that no tyrant would dare step into his domain. That's not a terrible idea. Did it work? Nope, not at all. In fact, a tyrant is terrorizing Ignisha as we speak. What? A tyrant? Down there? The nerve that he has attacking right in front of me. I will rally my tamers. I will reclaim my city. Yo, so she's actually from Ignisha? Oh my... Bruh. This is not a battle for bronze tamers, so stay put. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to organize our mission. She really rallied up the troops, man. That's like the whole army of tamers right there. So yeah, I guess that's probably a better spot to call it an episode. Wait, can I not? Okay, yeah, we can walk around and grab that shard. Not fair, not fair. I can't go mine my precious gemstones because of that cursed tyrant. Ugh. Hey, you work for the guild, don't you? Do something about it. Seemed like he was about to give us a quest, but I guess not. So yeah, we will definitely do something about it in the next episode, because that is going to do it for this one. Stay tuned, though, because like I said, the next episode will be a streamed one. Why did I think this guy had some plot for us? I guess he looks kind of important, but then again, so does this man here. With this super armor, the tyrant won't be able to hurt me. It's so heavy that I can't even walk to him anyway. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to chill here at the... Uh, I don't know what this place is, but if we activate the warp stone, we can definitely find out. And the desert outpost. So stay tuned. Click the link in the description for the stream. Go follow that. I will be live tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Hopefully I'll see you there for some more Nexomon fun. And I'll see you in the next episode.